All right, so check it out, guys. Steven is back. He brought us this brand new 2024 Model 3 Performance. We are going to get this thing up on the rack. It's still in stock form, unlike ours or Tim's. So we're going to measure the height on this, see if it actually has a similar rake as ours, and we're going to put it on some scales. So let's get it on the rack. All right, guys, so we're gonna check ride height. The rack is at comp height, so it's uh, at its most level position. We're gonna go and measure just ground up, and then I'll add in the hub to fender measurements just so we can get through this pretty quickly. His tire pressures are all around 37, 38 PSI. It's not at 42 cold, which is where we had Tim set. Um, but for all intents and purposes, this will show us exactly what his rake is. The front and the rear of this car do come with similar tire diameters from the factory. In fact, they should be identical. So we've got 698 on the front driver. 710 on the driver rear. And I'll just uh, yell it out to you guys from the other side. Six ninety nine on the front passenger. Seven oh five in typical Tesla fashion on the passenger rear. The and we believe the sheet metal on the passenger rear corner is always five millimeters lower than the rest of the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift the car up real quickly, um, or maybe not, I'll just leave it here. I'll get under there, I'm gonna measure from the pack to a reference point on the rack, and we'll chart those numbers as well. All right, so driver front, we are sitting right around 134. Passenger front, eh, like 135. I'm going to go in here, crawl under, get to here. All right, driver rear. One forty. Passenger rear, 142. So pretty even on the pack. So we're gonna go ahead and compare these to Tim's numbers and share those with you guys. So here we've got Tim's numbers on the left side with 47 miles, basically a brand new car. And you've got Steven's numbers on the right side with about 2000 miles on it. What you notice from these numbers is the front numbers are virtually the same, but in the rear, Tim's car was about 10 millimeters higher than Steven's. We can only assume that that's probably because of the imprint that needed to be made over time with the springs into the rubber isolators. We did ironically have another brand new vehicle come to us straight from Tesla and his numbers did match up with Tim's numbers. But then we had another client who had about 800 miles on his performance. He came by and his numbers matched Stevens. So we don't know exactly what's going on, but this is what we found. Why don't you guys share with us what your numbers are in the comments below. And now we're gonna show you the cross weights. Let's go. All right, so check it out, guys. We verified that his height is at the actual settled height now. So as you can see here, he's at 698, and that's where we were before. So we confirmed that his car is actually settled. And let's check out his cross weights and his gross weights. Got 4,047 pounds. Wow, this is uh, pretty dang good. Uh, Not bad, holy crap. It's almost perfect 50-50 cross weights. Yeah, should we put Steven's, I mean, Steven back in the car? Uh, friendly ass. So there you go, guys. Those are Steven's crosses. So if you guys wanna see some of Steven in action in his new 2024 Model 3 performance, please check out his channel. I think it's called Taco Steve, but I hear he's going to release a new channel pretty soon too. But we'll put a link right up there. So check that out because he, uh, he has the world record for the fastest lap time in a 2024 Model 3 performance in stock form at Laguna Seca. Um, and we'll just leave it at that. You know, there hasn't been any other guys really out there yet. But uh, Steven, 
is the fastest and we love him. So check out his channel and thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.